YouTube back again. It is like 12 something at night. You know, I always post at night because I work late. Anyway, I'm sitting up here thinking and I have to give you the reasons why Freddy Krueger, aka Nightmare on Elm Street, is the best horror film franchise, period. Yes, it's better than Jason, it's better than Michael Myers, better than Chucky. I dig them, but Freddy's better. Reason number one, first of all, you can't outrun Freddy. He gets you in your dreams and you have to eventually go to sleep. Like any Freddy Krueger movie, not let me be correct, every Nightmare on Elm Street movie, all the kids try to stay up drinking coffee and no doze and all this stuff. You're going to eventually doze off. Fred's going to get you. That's like the one thing. Like, you can run from Chucky. You can kick his little ass somewhere. Um, you can hide from Jason or Michael Myers. Uh, but... Freddy, you, you can't run from Freddy. He gets you in your sleep. Period. Another reason why it's the best franchise, best horror franchise ever. Freddy was funny. Like, I'll say this, Chucky, Chucky's funny too, but Chucky's a little talking doll. Like, how funny can that be without creeping you the hell out? Freddy was funny. Like, he was a comedian. I don't know the first Nightmare on Elm Street, they had him a little bit more ominous. <laughs> ominous? Ominous. They had him a little bit more, like, creepy. But as the movies went on, as the franchise went on, he started, he was just funny as hell. Like, he would sit there and say some kind of joke right before he killed you. Like, I'm trying to think. I know my favorite uh, franchise. God, I'm sorry. I know I'm wearing that word out. My favorite Nightmare on Elm Street movie is the third one where they, um, Nancy Thompson was like a therapist or something. But anyway, she was in the first one. She was the main character in the first one. So Nancy Thompson comes back in the third one and she's helping this doctor with these teens that are having dreams about Freddy and they're at like this mental institution. The, you know, like a lot of them tried to kill themselves or Freddy tried to kill them and it looked like it was a suicide or something. So they were all there. And um, I'm sorry, I keep touching my hair. I just got it done like a few days ago. I haven't had my hair braided in like almost a decade, so... But anyway, I forgot what I was saying as far as, like, Nancy Thompson coming back. But, um, uh, you know, I just love Freddy. Like, I can seriously watch that that whole thing over and over. Like, okay, now when I was in high school, they had Freddy vs. Jason, which, when it was out, it was kind of corny to me, but... Looking at it now, it's all right. It's still kind of corny. Like, you can tell they had some different writers and stuff. But, um, yeah, it was, like, okay. And then I know throughout the years, they've, like, made some more. The best ones came out in the 80s. I'm just totally, like, an 80s person when it comes to certain things. But then I know, like, a few years ago, I guess the guy that played Freddy uh, Krueger, um, you know, he's older now because he was like in his early 40s when he first starred in the first Nightmare on Elm Street. So they have some new dude playing him now. And I'm just, I'm, I'm kind of like not really into new things <laughs> if I don't like it. So I haven't seen that new one. I'm sure it's probably good. But you know, they eventually like, if they want to keep the franchise going, you know, they will eventually have to get new people. And I understand that. But nobody can do it like the original Freddy Krueger. He just, he just he brought that full package thing to it. Like anybody can play Jason, and this is another reason why Freddy Krueger. I feel like Freddy Krueger is is the best. Is you really cannot replace that actor. Period. You just cannot. Anybody can play Jason and Michael Myers because you don't see their face. They don't talk. They just walk around. I still don't see why those movies are popular because they literally just walk around slashing people. They don't say anything. There's no funny remarks. Like, what, what's up? I think this year for Halloween, 
I'm going to probably dress up as Freddy Krueger. Probably give it a little feminine twist, though, you know. But anyways, I'm going to lay it down, y'all. I just had to get that off my chest. About So I'll probably go ahead and watch some tomorrow before I go to work or something. But anyways, y'all have a good one. Drop down in the comments, too, and let me know what is your, what's your favorite horror movie franchise or just horror movie, period. Let me know. All right. Peace out.